Hey guys, it's Wanda. This is Deep South Homestead and tonight we're not live. Sorry about that, but we had a tropical storm come in this morning. And so Danny and I ran around looking at damage and things like that. And we didn't want to do just a damage video. So what I'm doing tonight is I want to wish everybody a happy Father's Day. And I'm going to sh show you a few pictures of Danny and wish him a happy Father's Day. Then I'm going to show you some of the things that went on around our farm that we found nine inches of rain, guys. This storm brought in a lot. It went right over us. So we got a lot of rain. Danny's doing a lot of work. He's going to be tired tonight. So please forgive us. We'll be in the live chat on the premiere. Now, if you're watching this after the initial premiere, which means the first time it shows, there is no live chat. You can just comment as normal. Um, so at the end, I wanted to show you some of the beauty of Deep South. What's growing, uh, some of the flowers, some of the food, things like that. That's what's at the end. So we hope you enjoy a little bit different video tonight. A little bit about what happened at the storm and Happy Father's Day and what we're growing here at Deep South. Thank you guys for just joining us tonight and hopefully if all this weather moves out we'll be back next Saturday night live. Really nice corn. If it's tropical storm just don't blow it down. That'll be the only thing. Uh, first year, first time in life I've ever grown Hickory King so I don't know how it will do. Well, good morning, guys. This is after the storm has passed by. Uh, this is uh, Danny and Wanda from Deep South Homestead. It's about 6.15 this morning. 6.15 in the morning. Guys, I'm looking at my rain gauge here. My gauge only goes to 5 inches, and it ran over the top. So uh, we know that we got over 6.5 inches of rain in just a few hours. Uh, I'm really not looking forward to what I'm going to see around the property here. But, the greenhouses all stood. We're not worried about the high tunnels. They all, they stood okay. Now it's time to go look at all the damage because I'm pretty sure we got some bad damage. And it's starting to rain again. You can see in the okay. camera here. So we're fixing to have to get on the Ranger and go check out the damage, guys. Okay, guys. Just yesterday, before ahead of the storm, I went in and put the... Uh, uh, limestone base material down on our road here and I'm really glad that I did because the water came across this road probably for about an 80 foot section down yonder it came across it and I did wash some of my rocks off of the road but what we done did hold uh, and I'm so glad we did it uh, I'll have to come back and regrade it all this is the upper corner of our property right here um, right over there is the corner of our property one corner then it comes across the road to the other corner over here uh this is coming up off the neighbor's property up above here this is a new spot and it ran all down through our pasture here uh filling up this end of the pond dam 
overflow with some sand and everything, which kept the water from running around this end and forced it all to the other end of the pond. The water come across the road down here off of the neighbor's property up there, blew about a good eight to 10 inches out of the road here, which went all into my pond, which filled my pond full of dirt and caused a massive amount of water to go down through this pond here. Fence, I gotta go get all this debris off of my fence there. Now when you put this new fence, you're going to be putting... The fence will be kept way up off the ground. So that it'll flow under See, it. the other one was up off the ground originally, but it's filled in so bad um, because it's so far down from the culvert there that literally it, um, it's done got level with it and debris backing up. But this one will be held up a lot higher than that one was. Erosion, the uh, the water came so heavy down through these hollers, it took my fence down. Uh, that's all going to have to be fixed before we can turn the cows back in here. Uh, this is next to our blueberry orchard. This is where we had problems with lots of water coming off of the neighbor's property up the road coming down through here. And uh, I decided to go ahead and order a big load of these rocks and put in there to try to help some of the erosion. And now I'm glad that I did. If I hadn't, this here would have been 10 times worse than what it is. Now this blew out my logs I had across here to slow the water down. It actually blew them out and got laddered all in the road, washed the road out here. Water has never come higher than right here. It came actually two feet higher than it normally does. The drift is up there, the second line of drift. This rain came in so bad that it came over the dam. Literally, you can see where it washed debris against the fence. It came over the dam. Yesterday, we added more rocks in this, and I'm glad that I did. I don't even know where to begin fixing it. I don't either. This the main thing I'm worried about is my back pasture down in there. I want to make sure that it's this. Not. This back here, let me zoom it up. We're going to go back there in a minute. It has never been more than a slight a trickle like this. Just a little small trickle down through there. It actually has a small... It's a creek. Creek, probably two to three foot deep. Yeah, it's actually a creek now. It's never been more than three maybe or four, a, six a, inches. Six inches deep and maybe just normal running, maybe a foot or two wide. And we haven't had this before. Never. Oh my word, guys. Look at my Cujo shoes. I stepped off. This side was good. I stepped off. <laughs> I got sand all down in my shoes here. We're going to find out what these Cujo shoes are made out of because that one's full of water right now. Well, we came down into our underground cellar now. Down by... <laughs> guys, the French drain system worked amazing. I mean, here's the slab inside the cellar. We're Absolutely no water. None whatsoever in all this rain that we've had. I mean, this cellar floor is dry. I mean, that's amazing. That is totally amazing that we had this much rain in the floor in this cellar. As deep underground as we are. How deep are we? About 15 feet? Uh, we 12, are, 15? We're, uh, let's see, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 foot deep in the ground here. And, uh, Surface, it got all, everything down we're, here. We're lower than the level of water in the pond right now. Yeah, we are. We're, under, we're lower the than the pond. The pond water's above us. This is amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. The French drains worked. I think we need to go underground, what you think? <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, I don't know what to do now. I, I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. This is amazing. have a beach down here. Try to see if we can straighten this fence back up. We uh, tree fell on my neighbor's property on the back side here. There's a whole tree laying down behind the fence. And the debris, yeah. 
the gonna... debris has built up against that tree and pushed against the uh, the fence here. Just yesterday, you saw in the first part of the video clip, I came out here and I showed you how pretty this corn was the day before the storm. This is the day after the storm. We you know, the sun will straighten a lot of it back up because it hasn't tousled yet good and it hadn't put any ears on. So we're just going to leave it and let the sun do what it's supposed to do. Some of it broke off and once it stands up as good as it's going to, the ones that's broken will feed to the cows. Uh, and like I said, this is my first year with Hickory King. I've never grown it. It don't matter what you do with the corn. I mean, I had this stuff healed up that high, you know, foot high dirt piled all up around it. Uh, I don't care if you'd had ground cover down, uh, no matter what you do, when you have the kind of wind and rain that we had here, this is going to happen with corn regardless. Well, not all is bad. <laughs> One of our peach trees here, it's still, it fared through the storm really, really well and looks really nice so far. Now the peaches aren't as large, but hey, I don't care at this point. We're just happy to have some peaches on our tree outside. We um, don't have a lot of insect problems with them and all. I mean, they're, they're looking really nice right now. And we, the rain really was a benefit to them because they really needed it. I had not long back just come in and fertilized this tree really heavy. And so far, it looks like it's doing really good. Well, this is our pomegranate tree and it's got a few pomegranates on it. I'm sitting here looking at them. I mean, they're doing nice the rain has really been good on them uh, we had a lot more than that on here but the heat guys the heat came in the dry weather came in and it just really was kind of tough on them and we lost a few of them off of here but they some that's kind of held on they did pretty good in the weather and everything so maybe uh this is the first year we've moved this tree we didn't think it would even live but it looks like it's going to do okay we're back up at our front garden here and all the water that we've had has not really affected this garden we have it laid off on high beds uh, the star of david okra has done really well uh, the sweet potatoes has done really well here they're doing good so i don't see a problem with this garden we have our uh, cherokee yellow wax beans right here which we're saving seed from they're all hanging in there doing good it's just, guys, this, this garden has turned out fantastic. We have our Amish paste tomatoes up here. Now, we've lost several to wilt. Uh, whatever's happening to them after it rains like this, they just About wilt. About three them. already. We lost three. And after a big rain like this, it always happens, we'll lose a couple. So the rest of the garden, other than that, seems like it's doing really good.